Okay, I was doing a whole lot of stuff there. Basically, what I was all doing was... Let me grab my sheet, because I only made one of these. So, I started out making a wooden, or a cardboard template of said window. From there, I transferred it to sheet metal. Uh, the goal with that was, so when I take that uh, acrylic, I can just put it in the oven and melt, like heat it over top. So, first run went not too bad. The uh, flaws I found were as follows. Uh, like this is the acrylic. So it fits pretty good, but it doesn't, it's a little overly tight in some spots. Here. This is hard to do with one hand. Come on. Dival. Okay. So, we got some discrepancies here. Like you can see up top, there's a lot of... I think we were overworking that glass. And then I noticed, I fixed this up. I think what happened is when I did the sheet metal, there was little spots like this here where there's a gap see I can kind of bend into it so I think and I overcompensated what I got to do is make sure this thing sits in place with no pressure so down here I have a loose spot and there's up here's a little bit so I got to tweak all this so just sitting there it's doing a perfect uniform fit that way when I heat the uh, the acrylic over top of it it'll just naturally want to sit in this place so like the first run wasn't bad. We knew this one because it had a weird scratch in it. So I was like, eh, we'll just see what happens here. Stuff sure takes a beating, I'll tell you that. I don't know what it is. It's probably Lexan. Anyways, whatever, duh. <clears throat> so we got that sorted. I got to still tweak this thing more so that uh, I don't have any of these floppy bits because then it's going to make it hard. The intent is that I want to be able to uh, like our other glass, we're just going to glue it in. We're not going to use the rubber on this. So, I have the original glass upstairs, but it's much smaller. So, when I made this buck, I had to make it a little bit bigger. So, it would fit around the lip, to which is where we want to glue all this to. So, anyways, I got to do the same with this piece now. And uh, this one, I can just cut a new piece. I'm super close. I got to tweak this one a little more. But uh, this one's good for the second bake. You know, you usually we put it in for about, I don't know, I'll explain when I'm upstairs what was working, but it was a pretty thick piece of acrylic though. Like you can see, this stuff's like 3 eighths or something like that. It's pretty thick. So yeah, we're working on that. So this one I got to form which is just over my knee, <clears throat> on the box, the tank, yeah, whatever I got around that will work the shape. i am uh, got to do that. And then I sanded it because I didn't want any little weird imperfections on it. So, on to the time lapse. As I try. So you can see, here is my glass, why I'm making my stuff bigger, because, well, this just don't fit. So, we got a bit of height difference. <laughs> Anyways, I loosely use this as my uh, buck to start the initial bend on this. So I kind of lay it down. find the side I want and then I just shape it around there and then from there I tweak uh, using that tank the side of the box pretty much anything round that can help me get this desired shape that I want so I want to get that on uh, anyways I'm gonna start this show you how I'm going and then I'm gonna finally tweak it kind of like I did the other side and uh, hopefully it fits better than that side but there will still be some shaving and fitting to make sure it's a good tight fit. This one's got a little ding in it and I'm worried that that's gonna show up. So 
I'll have to get that out. Anyways, let's start. On these edges, I'm going to do the slightest bit of tweak in here. Good as we're gonna get. Only thing left to do is clean it up. I'm just tapping around the edge to see if I can find a spot that's really floppy. This one's a little bit floppy, but I think it's okay. So I'm just setting the oven on 400. <laughs> Gotta peel the plastic off of this, clean this up a little bit. Let me actually do that right now. So I just want to get, whatever, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. I'm going to throw it in the oven. I'm going to stress, I'm by far no expert at this. This is only the uh, second time I've done this. My research is very minimal, but I feel this should just work. Oh, it's not bad in a hundred, eh? Every piece has something wrong with it. Let's see if I can clean that off. Because I think once she's baked on there, she's going to be permanently dirty. So I'm sure that's a thing. I'm going to make sure this is super clean. Okie doke. So there's no light in here, unfortunately, but uh, my laminate is sitting in there, so we're going to let her bake, and I'll let you know when I pull her up. So I pretty much have my form ready to go. I'm just stacking it off the table, keeping her off, but uh, yeah, as soon as that is pliable enough, then I'm just going to lay it on top of here. It'll just kind of do its own droopy thing. 
and we should be good. I don't know the best way to do this, but I'm doing it this way. Nope, needs more heat. A little bit longer. I don't know, it's pretty pliable. I'm trying this a little different than I did yesterday, so. I'm trying to get this to stay down. So this is all fine, it's just this side. Starting to think I have to stick that in the oven with it. All right, we gotta go. Plan B, gotta figure something else out here. So this is plan B. I got my steel mold in there with the glass on, or the, the plastic on top. So I'm hoping it'll get warm enough that the edges will all droop. Here's the hoping. <laughs> Hot out of the oven. Looks good. A uh, couple spots just doesn't want to dry like it should. Yeah, I'll just sit here and hold that. It'll be fine. It's not that warm. <laughs> I don't know. I guess if it don't work, you just throw it back in the oven. That's all there is to it. Ooh, it's warm. Weird, eh? Well, we'll sit and wait. See what it says. We'll just have another couple of those and wait for this to cool. <laughs> Thank you.
So we pretty much glued all of these in place. <clears throat> Just waiting for the urethane to fully dry. And then we're going to pull these straps off. Just because these didn't fit 100% nice like we liked. We just ran the strap around just to press them in. And then uh, we did the old finger squeegee around. Gave it a nicer look. So, yeah. I don't know. They're alright. They're not perfect, but nothing really on this truck is. So, pretty happy with how it worked out. They look nice and clean. We'll see how the uh, long term, how they handle the sun and stuff. But, it's not bad. The rest of it's like all glass. These are the only ones that we had to do that plexi stuff too. Well, there we go. Fit not bad. You see me having the uh, tape on there. I was basically just doing that so we didn't accidentally over glue. We can kind of place it where we wanted. But uh, yeah, overall we're good. We had a strap on there, it was just to press it in, because it wasn't a perfect fit. It seemed like when the uh, Lexan cooled, it kind of, I don't know, it did something weird. So we were just pressing them in place. But, yeah, I don't know. For what we're going for, it's good. You could have got the rubber and dealt with that, but I don't know. We were just going for, it's not a very high dollar truck, and uh, we were kind of, just using what we have lying around. So that's kind of kind of the idea behind this one. Most of the trucks all like that. This is on an S10, small blocked. It's got all that jazz. The, uh, but she is getting closer. Uh, all we gotta do now is we gotta do the bumper. I don't know, there's a tailgate, the floor. There's a lot of little stuff. We gotta do his beers, you know. But, anyways, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.